For number six, part A, it does make sense to use a pie chart for land area. The entire pie represents all of the land area. You split it into seven pieces, one for each state. The larger pieces correspond to larger states, the smaller pieces to small states, and then all, the, all together they fit together to make the entire country. And you can see exactly how big each piece of the pie should be by figuring out what percentage of the total land area each state possesses. Now highest elevation, it does not make sense to use a pie chart. Uh, it has a totally different nature than land area does. Here for land area, if you add these all together, you get the total land area for the whole country. But if you add the height of all the mountains in each state together, the highest mountain in each state, you add its height together, that value is totally meaningless. It's just a really large number. It doesn't correspond to anything in the country. And so it wouldn't make sense to split a pie into seven pieces where each of these pieces are supposed to add together to make a whole because that's just not how highest elevation works. Now this would be much better represented by a bar graph where you could just compare the heights of each bar to, each, to one another and see which state had the highest elevation.